Hello, and welcome to the Rovidium MG362X1A product introduction tutorial by Enritsu. The Rubidium family is Enritsu's newest generation of microwave signal generators. The Rubidium platform is based on new technology that provides a unique combination of exceptionally low phase noise, high output power, atomic grade stability, wide frequency coverage, and on-site frequency and level calibration. These attributes have allowed Rubidium signal generators to become the industry leaders in low phase noise and frequency stability. This tutorial introduces the various front and back panel interfaces, including soft key buttons, output and input connectors, and the graphical user interface. We can start this tutorial with the Rubidium front panel. We can begin from moving left to right and from top to bottom. Each Rubidium signal generator will have a model identification label at the top left corner. The model identification label will indicate the model as well as the upper frequency coverage. Below the model identification label is the power button. And below the power button, there are four USB 3.0 interface ports. These ports can be used for tasks such as loading setups and powering USB power sensors for calibrations. If we move to the right, the next item is the LCD display. The LCD display is 7 inches and is touchscreen and is used to display the graphical user interface. The next section on Rubidium are the front panel buttons and knob. Starting from left to right and top to bottom, the top row buttons that are a darker shade are function specific buttons that will take a user directly to that function. Below these buttons are a traditional numerical keypad including period for numerical resolution to the right of the keypad, there is a rotary knob which is used to change the value of a parameter that is open for editing. Slowly turning the rotary knob will increase or decrease the parameter values depending on the step size. Below the rotary knob is the cursor control pad and is used to control the direction of the cursor when editing a parameter. On the farthest right, Rubidium features a red LED unleveled indicator. This LED is activated when the RF output goes unleveled and is normally caused by exceeding the specified leveled power rating. This is an important feature for manufacturers that have rack setups and want to visually see if there is an unleveling issue that may not be easily visible from a test graphical user interface. Below the red LED is the output power on and off button. Directly below the output on and off button is the output connector and caution label. The standard output connector is a male RF output connector. Now that we have described all hardware components on the front panel, we can move to the rear panel. Please note that there is an option of Rubidium that features front panel BNC connectors. These connectors offer easy accessibility to modulation and ALC input connections to Rubidium. One thing to notice quickly about the back panel are the numerous BNC input and output connectors. For MG3690C users, Rubidium signal generators have all the same functionality and back panel interfaces as the MG3690C. This makes changing between the MG3690Cs to Rubidium an easy and simple change. On the farthest left of the rear panel, there are several placeholders for connectors that will enable special options or future application functionality. We will now move to where the majority of the BNC connectors are. For convenience, the various connectors are grouped. The first grouping are the connectors that are related to modulation. The modulation connectors feature AM, FM, and pulse input and output, including pulse sync. On the farthest right corner, there are reference connectors. There are 10 MHz, 100 MHz, and 1600 MHz reference input and output connectors. The rest of the connectors provide different input and outputs for users based on their applications. Locked and leveled provides a TTL high and low output signal. External ALC is provided for leveling the RF output signal externally to either an RF detector or power meter. Horizontal out provides a 0 to 10 volt ramp voltage regardless of the sweep width. External trigger accepts a TTL low level signal of 1 microsecond width to trigger a sweep. 
EFC provides the capability to frequency control the internal crystal oscillator, allowing phase locking of the synthesizer inside an external lock loop. Time-based reference is optional. There is a PPS connector and a GPS connector. The PPS is for the GNSS GPS atomic clock receiver input or output, while the GPS is an input for the GNSS GPS antenna. The back panel also features two auxiliary 15 and 25 pin connectors that can provide users with additional functionality. For MG3690C users, Rubidium's 25 pin connector provides backward compatibility. Please contact Factory for additional information on the 25 pin connector. Additionally, there are two USB 3.0 interface ports for users that adds to a combined total of six USB interfaces for Rubidium. For users that want to access Rubidium for remote automation, there is a USB 2.0 Type-B, an RJ45 port, and a 24-pin IEEE 488 GPIB connector. Users can use these various ports to program Rubidium using Skippy or native commands. Additionally, Rubidium has an IVIC driver and LabVIEW support. In the final section of Rubidium back panel, there is an AC input connector. For users that require removable memory for security purposes, Rubidium accepts an SDIO memory card. As you can see here, there is a solid rear plate that is designed to mechanically secure the SDIO memory card. Thank you for joining us for this Rubidium introduction video, and please visit www.anritsu.com to see other Rubidium videos where we discuss Rubidium's industry-leading phase noise, Rubidium applications, and more. Thank you.